In this video, we're gonna start by calibrating your printer. That sounds maybe a little scary, but for most people, it, it just means printing out a sheet and measuring it and making sure that it corresponds to the size that it's supposed to be. Uh, after that, we will be making your first templates. And yeah, that's just a matter of printing them out and putting them onto some cardboard. But we will also talk a little bit about how to cut them out correctly and the different parts of those templates. So let's get started. So first we're going to make sure that your printer is calibrated correctly. And this is the first sheet out of the Torino Basics templates file. Uh, we're going to measure these crosshairs in the middle and they should measure out to be close to four inches. If they're off by a little bit, it's okay. If the measurements are way off, uh, take a look at the troubleshooting tips on the calibration page to find out how to fix it. Usually it comes down to a setting in your printer. And once you've confirmed that the uh, printers calibrated correctly, go ahead and print out your templates. That's the rest of the file that includes that calibration page. So now you can either glue these pages onto cardboard with a glue stick, or you can use type bond. Uh, they both work pretty well. There's the advantage of using the type bond is that you already have it. The glue sticks uh, will cost you another dollar for three sticks at Dollar Tree. So we'll glue on these uh, printouts to uh, some chipboard or some cardboard. In this case, this is a cereal box that I'm using. Um, when you put on the glue sticks, the ones from Dollar Tree, they're okay. They're pretty good, but they do kind of get a little uh, lumpy sometimes. So you want to make sure that if you have any kind of big kind of chunks like that, that you smooth them out. And make sure you rub down the templates on there well to get all the bubbles out and stuff and make sure they're adhering well. If you're going to use a tight bond, uh, definitely use a sponge brush to smear it out and make a nice even coat onto the, uh, onto the cardboard. And here I'm using the chipboard that's available at GameGearMaster.com store. You can already see that the cardboard's kind of wanting to warp a little bit. It's because there's a lot of moisture in the tight bond. But what we'll do is uh, after we put this on there, we'll just put a book on top and let it dry. And once they're dry, you can cut out, you can kind of rough cut them out the outside border with uh, scissors. We'll use uh, a, the utility knife to cut in, into the more uh, complex sections. But uh, yeah, you can get a lot done just with a pair of scissors. Now you can see mine weren't totally dry here. That's why they're curling up. What I ended up doing was just putting them back under a book after I was done. Now one thing with cutting cardboard with a knife, it, it can be really hard. Uh, it can be really hard if you don't have a piece of foam underneath because you spend so much of your energy pushing down the knife just to cut through the cardboard. But if you put a piece of foam board like this underneath and push the knife through the cardboard and into the foam board, it's all about just pulling the knife across the cardboard and it makes it so much easier. So I definitely recommend putting a piece of scrap foam board underneath your cardboard when you're cutting out these uh, templates. Now on these, these are the connector templates and you'll notice that there's these uh, parts in the middle that you have to cut out. And uh, there's also these green stripes. They're like two green lines with a white line in between. Those are scoring slits. Basically what we're going to use those for is we're going to put the knife in just a little ways into that, that slit and score the top of the foam. Then we can snap the foam at that score line to break out the different pieces of the connector. So just grab a ruler. This will help you stay right in, in that little slit line there. And I usually do multiple passes because I, I want to make sure that I get that nice that line nice and accurate. And I also want to make sure that the template doesn't move when I'm making the cut. So a few shallow cuts until it breaks all the way through is a, is a good way to go. And then it's just a matter of cutting out the other little voids. By the way, those little notches on the outside there in the green area, those are handholds, so you can line up the foam underneath. And it's usually a good idea when you're trying to cut a complex circle like this to move the template uh, instead of moving your hand. Uh, keep your hand in a generally the same position and then just move the template to make the cut that you need. And this has the slits in it as well. And same idea, just use a ruler to cut in those slits. By the way, if they're a little off, it's okay. You'll see that some of mine are. 
Torado is designed to be very forgiving of human error. Uh, in fact, that's why if you notice with the calibration, I said if they're a little off, it's okay. It really comes down to the fact that Torado understands that everything is not going to be perfect. Now you'll notice on this template, there's also a horizontal cutting slit here for the insert piece. And that's because that insert piece is slightly smaller. It's going to go inside a pocket inside the middle of the, uh, of the wall. And you'll see that in the pocket doors tutorial coming up later. You also see that there's that kind of gray area there with a, that sort of the hash marks around uh, the edge of it. Well, that is scaffolding. That is something that is going to be a piece of foam that's going to stay on as part of the structure for a little while until we glue certain parts together and then we'll remove that. Um, don't worry about understanding exactly what that is. I just wanted to make sure that you knew that that was scaffolding. So if you haven't already, you can get started right now on your Torino journey by downloading the Torino construction manuals at GameGearMaster.com. They are consistently rated five stars and come with a 14 day hassle-free money back guarantee. That means if Torino's not for you, no problem. You'll get your money back, no questions asked. And a big thank you to my supporters on Patreon.com forward slash GameGearMaster and a shout out to the architects on there who really go above and beyond. Brian Yao and William Dellinger, thank you so much and apologies if I mispronounced your names. If you'd like to become a patron and get exclusive Trano products, go to Patreon.com forward slash GameGearMaster.